Today on Sledhead 24-7, from the Firecat to the Procross chassis, Arctic Cats made big changes in the past decade. We ride with an avid snowmobiler and listen to her opinion of the new F-800 from Arctic Cat. If you own a Skidoo, you should know who Straight Line Performance is. We'll learn why the heartbreaker hides no secrets. We go to the home of horsepower as Jeremy Houle shows us what Speedworks offers for the new Articat 800 two-stroke. And if you haven't been to Jackson Hole, you're missing out. We'll have some fun at the World Championship Hill Climbs. Get ready, Sledhead 24-7 starts now. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my boys, Mac and Fish. Oh my goodness, what have you guys gotten into? Last thing left, I think we gotta just see if it runs. Greetings everyone and welcome to another edition of Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-hosts, Mr. Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Now today, we're gonna start the show off with the side-by-side -side comparison of Articat, the old cat, versus the new cat. Guys, what do you think? What a difference. I remember racing the old Articats against them, riding them, evaluating them. They've made so many changes. The technology just keeps getting better, Fish. Oh, it does. You just can't believe how much better they got. They just keep making them better and better, and now they're adding turbos, and I like turbos. <laughs> this is so true. So let's take a look at the old versus the new. Every season, we put thousands of miles on the new snowmobiles from Articat. We offer one Articat owner the chance to compare the new Procross F800 to their older Firecat F7. We're out here riding up in the great north woods, and we thought what a better thing to do than to find someone else to give their opinion on the new sleds. But Jenna, what sled do you have here for us? I'm riding a 2005 Articat F7. You know, this thing's pretty clean. Is it like brand new showroom condition? No, it's got 8,000 miles on it. No way. Did you put all these miles on yourself? All the miles except like 100. Just 100 is all. You've gotten the rest, though. I've gotten the rest. The rest Atta, are mine. I'll add a girl. <laughs> Been rebuilt a few times? Nothing. Nothing. What a testimonial for Articat. Are you consider yourself an Articat loyalist, then? I could be. It's depending on the new stuff. We'll see how that goes. OK, Jenna, how would you like to ride the 2012 Articat F8? I'd love to try it out. Let's go get our gear on. Jeff and Jenna switch sleds and put on a few miles. When I got on the sled, I noticed the power was wonderful. First thing I noticed when I got on the sled was the rider forward position, and then when you got going, it pulled hard, but had plenty of power. I mean, I didn't feel any weak spots at all. It was great. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's a different ride than the old ones, and I like it a lot better. You're more, it's more of a sports ride, not a leisure, just kind of going through the corners nice and slow. It's more of an aggressive ride, which is a lot of fun. Over the bumps, um, it was a lot, it wasn't landing on my tailbone all the time and always in pain. It was more comfortable. You more rock over the bumps instead of just slamming over them, which was nice. Then as I got going, I noticed the handlebars were out farther, which can be adjusted, which was okay. They had plenty of power. The sled really pulls, you know, you can get on it at any point and it really pulls away, which is nice. I like having the more power and ability to go when you need to go. In regards to their looks, I like them. It looks beautifully mean, if that makes any sense. Um, it looks aggressive, it looks sharp, it looks better than the old ones, dude. Okay, Jenna, now you've had a chance to ride it. What's your opinion? Overall, I think I like it better. Um, I like not sitting so much on my tailbone like the old model has. You're up forward. Um, you're more on top, which makes it easier to turn. One thing I'd like differently is I like being forward is a lot easier than standing, sitting back on your tailbone all the time. Um, one adjustment that I need to be made was um, tipping the handlebars back. I can't reach them as easily. 
which is more of a struggle. Sure, that's easy enough to do. That's what I thought. Just think, if you were to ride this one, would you keep it for 8,000 miles? I would. It'd be a lot easier, a lot nicer. Now look it, that's not me, that's not Mac telling you. Jen is telling you. You might just want to upgrade. Do yourself a favor and test ride a new Arctic Cat. It could be the next snowmobile you own for 8,000 miles and beyond. What an awesome clip that is, and there's no doubt about it, cat fans are certainly on high alert. So, Paul, what are you most impressed with? It's a new Pro Cross chassis. Everything about it is new engine, suspension, driveline. It's like comparing a leaf spring suspension to an independent front suspension. There's no comparison. Absolutely good point. All right, we'll stay right where you are. More from Heinen's in a moment. When Slithead 24-7 returns, we get the inside story on who Straight Line Performance is and how they can help your Skidoo make more power. Speedworks pumps up the new Articat 800 two-stroke. And the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs are a favorite of every snowmobile. Jeff Fisher shows us the quickest way down the mountain. Stay tuned. Slithead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil the first in synthetics. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. By GoPro, be a hero. And by Skidoo Snowmobiles. Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, Mr. Paul Mack, and we are here at Heinen's in Osseo. Now, Paul, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited. I think we just found another speed shop. We absolutely have, Misha. If you wanna have the super skidoo, you wanna have the ultimate skidoo done, whether it's E-Tech, if you need pipes, carbs, whatever you need, there's only one place to go. And where's that? Straight line performance, baby. It sure is. Take a look at this. For more than two decades, Straight Line Performance in Forest Lake, Minnesota has been crafting the how-to for speed. Today, Straight Line is a worldwide performance shop, but had humble beginnings in founder Jason Houle's garage. We deal with all the Scandinavian markets. We deal with Canada, North America. Uh, a lot of stuff will even go to Japan, Russia. Today, Jason shares three ways to quickly improve your skidoo. Starting with Straight Line's exclusive exhaust kit, fuel programmer, and clutch kit. We ride the product. We're on the trails every weekend, so we're not just out there running the stock machine. You see machines like this out there, they're on there. We test it, we use it. Snowcross superstar Robbie Malinowski races the pro circuit on a Straight Line enhanced skidoo. Robbie's proud to race with Straight Line. You know, our goal this year was we need to find a new pipe build some more horsepower, be a little more competitive than we were last year. And uh, I think we achieved that with flying colors and we're looking forward to the season. <laughs> you don't need heat shields, you don't need packing. Noise does not equal horsepower. You could take a stock uh, exhaust can and just take off the muffler and make a whole bunch of noise and actually make less horsepower. Realistically, this package on this machine is six horse. It's noticeable. A lot of people go, a oh, six horse, it's not worth it. You also lose about 13 pounds of this package. Weight is speed. To verify the results, Jason opens up the Heartbreaker, one of the best dyno rooms in North America. The Heartbreaker's legendary. It's seen plenty of testing and broken plenty of hearts. The reality is most people that come to use a dyno don't see the number that they expect. So, hence, it's a Heartbreaker. Most every time that you bring a machine in here, it don't show you what you want it to, but the truth tells. These walls have seen unbelievable amount of smoke, engine parts, oil, you name it. We've seen it but flying at the wall. this is the, the spot to have it happen. You know, this is where you can control the environment, break it, come back, know what you did to break it, and fix it. You want to test it. We want to push it to that limit. I mean, if it's breaking here, we want it to break in this room and not in the field. All eyes are on the monitors. Results of the build are impressive. Let's check it out. We had 157 horse of the stock. We now have 165 horse. Now that's a game. A straight line exhaust kit, a fuel programmer and clutch kit, even some frog skin. Easy, quick ways to upgrade your skidoo. 
You could even rent out the heartbreaker to really find out about your machine. So now you've got the clutch kit, you've got the pipe, you've got what you want that's blowing all your buddies away at the lake. Now I want even more. Where do I head next? Big option on the E-Tech, going big board. Big power, fuel programmer, hang on. Want some more info? We've set up a link to Straight Line Performance at sledhead24-7.com. Stick around, there's more Sledhead 24-7 coming right back. Still ahead, Jeremy Houle shows us why Speedworks builds the best parts for your Arctic Cat 800 two-stroke. And we go to the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs and learn what it takes to get to the top. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, Mr. Paul Mack, and we are still here at Heinen's in beautiful Osseo, Minnesota. Right now, we're going to go to the home of horsepower. I'm, of course, talking about our friends in Forest Lake at Speedworks. And, Paul, what do we got going on there? It's amazing. If you want technology in the F8 or any two-stroke for Arctic Cat, I mean, if you want anything from something mild to wild, if you just want to do a clutch kit, you want a single pipe, you want to do porting, you want to do some compression, you want to go all the way and have a supercharger. If you want crazy, stupid, fast, there's only one place to get it. That's the home of horsepower for Arctic Cat, Speedworks. He said that with conviction. I'm taking his word for it. Take a look at this. Hey guys, Jeremy from Speedworks here. Today, um, we're gonna go over some more of the hot new products that Speedworks has to offer for the CAT 800s. You know, previously we went over our stage one kit. Today, we're gonna touch on that a little bit. We're gonna go in depth more, go over some do's and don'ts, and, and get real techy on a lot of the products that Speedworks has to offer for these machines. So we're going to head on over here and show you guys, we're going to just graze the surface here on the products that we're going to be talking about here. Uh, we have our Speedworks Y-Pipe and Single Pipe set up, great simple mod, does require the fuel controller. Our lightweight mufflers, we have our standard version and one of our prototype L2 mufflers here. We have our Hypershift Clutch Kit with our H5 Springs, Compound Radius Helix, Clutch Weights, our fourth wheel kit for the F-Series models, uh, our sleeper head kit, as you can see that when the inserts are installed it looks stock. We got out and machined the stock head there. Reed packages, we have both the V-Force and the boys in, great upgrades. Our frog skin vents there for extra cooling to keep our under hood temps down. My favorite, um, our Pro Charger Supercharger Kit from Speedworks. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna zero out the scales. We're gonna show you guys the before and after weight. So we're gonna give you a stock weight and then a weight with the Speedworks parts installed. The weight of this sled stock you know, it's bouncing at 505, 506. When we're done, we should be 17, 20 pounds lighter than that. Very big item on the whole sled, um, our pipe. Pipe and wide pipe combo, again, 10 to 11 horsepower. It's gonna save about five pounds. You're gonna see gains everywhere. So as soon as you hit the throttle, you're gonna notice that you have more horsepower with the Speedworks pipe. If you've got an Arctic Cat 800, the Speedworks pipe is the best, best pipe money you can buy. An area that gets overlooked a lot is clutching. You know, we're able to, to make the weight exactly how we want it. Our, our clutching packages have won world championships in every avenue of snowmobile racing. Our clutching parts and clutching packages have been there. So if you want the best clutching parts and setups available for your sled, specifically your Arctic Cats, don't hesitate to give us a call. So we're gonna, we're gonna start talking about our cylinder head modification that we do on these CAT 800s. We're changing the compression ratio itself, but we're also changing the squish band, squish angle, squish depth, uh, the bowl radius. More compression, more power, depending on what you're running for fuel. Um, that pretty much wraps up uh, the information we have on our cylinder head. More importantly now than ever with these new chassis and the futuristic looks on everything, no matter what, what model you have, the frog skin line has a vent that'll work for you. Adding horsepower, performance clutching, things like that. Don't overlook the venting on your machine either because the cooler we can get those under hood temps, the better everything's gonna perform.
Moving to the back of the sled and getting more specific, this is just for the F-Series type models and guys with studded tracks. We have our fourth wheel kit. With the two wheel setup, you get a lot of track flex and the sleds will kind of wobble under acceleration and whatnot. With this fourth wheel kit, it helps settle that down and helps improve traction when we get studying on the outside bands here too. It helps, helps drive that stud in. So looking at the weight here um, with our standard exhaust system, 10 to 11 horsepower, save 19 to 20 pounds. So the next time you guys see us, we're gonna be talking Speedworks Supercharger Kit in the Articat 800s. Well, that's what you can expect from our friends over at Speedworks, isn't that right? If you want horsepower, you know where to go. That's right, all right, sled fans, stay right where you are, sled at 24 seven, we'll be right back. When Sledhead 24-7 returns, the best in the world race to the top at the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Polaris. Terrain domination. Arctic Cat. Share our passion. By FXR. World-class outerwear. And by Spy Optics. Welcome back to Sled Ed 24-7, still here at Heinen's in Osseo. Now, there are a few events in snowmobile racing that are legendary. The I-500, Eagle River, the Duluth National, and... The Hill Climbs at Jackson Hole, of course. Now, if you haven't been there, you should put that on your bucket list. That place is a blast from the high-performance machines to just all the other fun and activities going on around the hillsides. You know what? I could not agree more. Take a look at this. Sledhead 24-7, we're always going on road trips. What a better place in the spring of the year to come to Jackson Hole for the Jackson Hole Hill Climb. Vendors, people, food, you name it, and don't forget the racing. One of the largest hills on the race circuit. For someone who's never been to Jackson Hole, what is Jackson Hole? Jackson Hole is the world championship hill climb. All riders from all over the world come here to try to do it, and compete, and win. Uh, very few do. It's just a really gnarly, crazy hill, you know, that sleds can barely make it up. And so we build the craziest sled that we can build and take the best shot we can at it. Here at the Jackson Hole Hill Climbs, in my opinion, there's only one way to watch this race, and that's from up top. The way you gotta go, is on the lifts. <laughs> Look at their qualifying track. They got it down to ice, rocks, dirt. It looks like fun, but man, I'm looking at these rocks. I, I, I got a feeling my sled ain't coming down in one piece. Look out guys, I'm gonna bowl everybody over. You know, the one thing here in Jackson Hole is the crowd. What do you guys think? You want to see some sluts? Right in the bowels of Jackson Hole, right on the hill. He's got these track workers here. How many of you guys are rodeo guys? We, we do, we do abstract, events. Yeah, <laughs> abstract events. See, I think if they get bucked off a horse, they can sure tackle a flipping rolling sled. Without these guys, we'd have a lot more wrecked equipment. Whoa, 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 heads up! So Dan, what do you think of this? It's one of the most amazing events of the year for us. Watching all my friends and all the guys I've grown up with go up here and tackle this hill. Yeah, I see you out there earlier, out there tackling a couple snowmobiles that were coming back down. Yeah. That yeah. looks like it's a lot of work. Yeah, catching sleds, um, it's, it's great because a lot of these guys are my friends and this is such a great way for me to show the respect that I need to give these guys that come up here and do this thing day in and day out. It's awesome. Sure. Right. 
Bob, congratulations, buddy. First time over and a win. 15 freaking years. Oh, did you hear that? No, what an accomplishment. 15 years that Rob Kincaid's been trying for this, and he won. I was, I was down there in the pit, like jumping up and down. Go, Dave, go! Uh, Jackson's good to me today. Hometown race, finally did it. Oh. And the most fun thing about taking the chairlift to the top is the way down. And we like to go sliding down, but the problem is it's a long way down. If you haven't been to Jackson Hole, I highly suggest you go there. It is so intense. Yep, it's an absolute blast. It really is. It's amazing how fast they accelerate up the hills and also how fast some things go down the hills. <laughs> this is true. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this edition of Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, Mr. Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Make sure to visit us online at sledded24-7.com. You can also follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time. Next week on Sledhead 24-7, we go to Speedworks and meet the winner of Project Sled X. This year, we're building an ultimate big horsepower mountain sled. From long distance rides to boondocking in the backcountry, our Skidoo Renegade gets accessorized to do it all. We'll show you a couple of machines that are designed to go the distance and Articat's pro mountain rider, Amber Holt, brings us back to the basics in her mountain riding clinic. Those stories and more next week on Sledhead 24 seven.